my channel. Today, we gotta fix this hair, y'all. If you watched my last vlog, you would have seen my little mini wash and go fail. I tried a new gel that just doesn't really work for me. Um, so you're probably looking at my hair thinking it's really not that bad, but this is day two, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, day two. Like for us to look like this the day after a wash is not okay. So we are going to be getting into a deep refresh today. Very excited about it. This is how I lately have been stretching out my wash days. I love it. And I found a really nice product actually that really just makes the curls pop. So I'm going to be going in depth and showing you exactly how to do it. It's quick. It's easy. Drying time is like cut in half from a regular wash day. Okay. So let's just go ahead and get into it. It's about to be so nice. All right. So the best part about this, you literally only need two items for a deep refresh, a spray bottle with some water in it and this bad boy right here. So this is a new product that I've tried. This product was like a random purchase from Target. I looked at it, it said wash and go. It said glaze instead of gel. So I was like really curious to see what it's like. This is amazing. I do want to try it for a wash and go. I haven't tried it for that yet. Before refresh, mm, this is it. This is so good. So, so good. Y'all about to see the magic happen. It is also black owned, so. So when you're doing a deep refresh, you kind of want to do something that's gonna add moisture back to your curls, but also offer a little bit of hold if you have curls like me that are just, if there's not enough hold, it's just gonna be meh. And this is gonna give us everything that we need. So I always just start by pinning my hair up. This is the bottom section that I'm gonna start out with. Super short hairs. <laughs> These aren't really on show, so I'm not like super picky about how they look, but we're gonna refresh them all the same. So all we gotta do is just go in and kinda dampen the section a little bit. And literally this is just water. There's nothing else in here. It's just water. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna start to kind of comb the water through. So water is actually my moisture product. I don't really use any creams. You guys know I don't use creams on my wash and goes regularly. So there's not really crazy buildup, which I like. And the water really just kind of soaks into my hair shaft and makes it nice and moisturized. I'm not gonna make it, you know, overly soaking wet, but you know, at a good level. So this is where we're at. Then we just grab Mr. Pop Lock. Let me get into this texture with y'all really quick. So it is called a glaze, not a gel. And this is what it looks like. It's just as described, kind of like a glaze. But let me tell you, the hold on this thing is so nice. So I'm literally just applying this directly to my curls and I'm feeling it out. I actually feel like I could probably add teensy bit more water. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more product and then just comb it through like this. I literally can't believe I'm having to refresh on freaking day two. Like that is unheard of. Usually I do a deep refresh like this on day like four to six. You know what I mean? I usually do it to avoid doing another wash. So doing it on day two is kind of crazy, but it also kind of feels nice because when you have a wash day fail, like who wants to go back in and do a whole other wash like right then and there, you know what I mean? So it's kind of nice to still kind of push out that next wash. All right, so y'all see it happening. The curls are kind of starting to bounce back and it's okay if it doesn't look like super perfect right now because I noticed with refreshes sometimes like during the process, it's kind of like, ooh, I don't know how this is going to come out because it's not as popping as a regular wash and go would be. But let me tell you, when it dries, it dries nice. All right, so that's it for this bottom section. And I just go in and repeat the same exact thing for every single section. So we just wet it, add some product, and move on. Also, I should mention that if, when you are refreshing your hair, you got to make sure that the product that you're using to refresh your hair is going to agree with the product that you used on that previous wash because if they don't they don't work well together you're gonna get potentially flakes a little bit of frizz it's just not gonna be a good situation once i'm done actually refreshing my curls i'll show you guys exactly how you can like mix two products together and tell whether or not they're gonna actually work well together to save yourself a whole bunch of time and heartache it's a tip i use all the time Okay, so the last thing I like to do is just, I always like to add like a little bit of 
extra water right here for the roots in the front. It's fine if like roots everywhere else are a little bit, you know, frizzy, but in the front you kind of want as little frizz as possible. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of additional product in the front just so we can have a little bit of additional hold. Once I'm done applying product, I like to kind of just go over and make sure, okay, there's nowhere with any frizz. Any frizz spots, you can either kind of finger coil them to smooth the frizz down or add a little bit of additional products. But this is the part where you want to make sure you get rid of any frizzy areas. But I think we're good. I think we are good to go. So next, I just go ahead and diffuse now. Even though my hair looks pretty wet right now, because we used a spray bottle as opposed to a full wash and drenching it underneath like a faucet or something, it's going to take way less time to dry, which is one of my favorite things about actually doing a refresh. So I do have somewhere to go out tonight, but I'm not gonna have to worry because we're gonna get it nice and dry and like full of volume by the end of this video. So for diffusing, I'm using, of course, my Dyson hair dryer. Y'all already know how much I love this thing. I diffuse on the lowest airflow setting as well as the lowest heat setting. And lately I've actually been focused on diffusing my roots first before my ends. I just find that I get better results that way. All right, so I diffuse for 10 minutes. My hair is obviously still a little bit damp, but nowhere near as like dripping wet as it would be in 10 minutes if I did a full wash. So we are already on our way to dry pop and curls with some volume, okay? So at this point, I usually just go ahead and let my hair air dry the rest of the way. I do have a couple of hours before I need to actually head on the road and go somewhere. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry and then I will be back to show you guys the final results and also to get into how you can make sure you're choosing the right products for your refresh. What time is it? So it's 2.50 right now. 250. So I'll come back when my hair is fully dry and we can see how long it actually took for it to just completely just air dry on its own for the rest of the day. Okay, so it is one hour later. My curls are basically fully dry now. <laughs> they are fine. Do y'all see this? So it's curl definition, it's shine, and it's hold. When I tell you, like I've got a good crunch in my curls right now, which I like because I've been noticing the gels that don't give me a crunch make me frizz out by day three and I'm not about that life. I would like to stretch this as long as possible. So I love the fact that it has a crunch so we know it's going to last us for a good next couple of days. I am gonna try and fluff just a little bit just to see how much volume we can actually get from this refresh right now. I mean, this lace. This glaze is so nice. Like I just, I'm really, really happy with it. 12 out of 10 recommend. So let me show you guys really quickly how you can mix your products just quickly on your hand and find out whether or not they're going to work. So I'm gonna give you an example of two products that don't work together. I know for a fact that these don't work together because I've tried this with them before. So this is the Living Proof Curl Definer from their Curl Collection. And so I'm just gonna take my hand here and pump a little bit of product. Why is this not pumping? Okay, so here we go. And then I'm gonna take one of my OG favorite wash and go gels. This is the Bomb Astro Curl Defining Hair Jelly. So I'm gonna do about like equal parts. And then you take them and mix them together. If you see it start to get clumpy like this, this means that the products actually don't mesh very well together. I mean, clearly you can see. So this is a situation where if I did do a wash and go with these two products, we would probably see lots of flaking and it just would end up probably being a hot mess express. So this is what it looks like when two products don't work together. And then let me show you what two products look like when they do work together. So when I first was trying this to refresh my curls, put a little bit on my hand. That time around I had used this gel. And then same thing, popped both products on my hand and mixed them together just to make sure that they would mesh well together. And do you see that? So do you see how smooth it is? There are absolutely no clumps. They mixed really nicely together and it's just completely smooth. I know it's a little bit hard to see because they're both clear, but like zero clumps, y'all, nothing. So that is exactly how it's supposed to look when two products mesh well together. You know what, let's mix this with a couple of other things and see what else it works with. So I'm always talking about my Rio Geo coil custard, so let's see what it's like. All right, here we go, moment of truth. 
Ooh, they work so well together. Look at that, it's smooth. It's like we didn't even mix anything in there. Let's try it with the Fakai gel cream. I wonder how it would do with like a creamy kind of gel. Ooh, it works well with that too. You know what, I'm noticing that this Poplog products works really well with a lot of my favorite products, which I love, I love that for me. <laughs> and it's good because you want a refresher product that you love to work with a lot of your favorite products. That way when you're refreshing, you're not gonna end up with a flaky, frizzy hot mess. It is a black owned product and also very, very affordable. So as usual, everything again will be linked in the description box below. Okay, so quick update. This is my hair. I literally have not touched it since that video, which I filmed four days ago. And so these are the day four results. Love, 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 love. Because you know what? I have mad volume with very, very minimal frizz. Do you see this like curl definition still on top? Honestly, if I didn't have to wash my hair for a campaign, we could probably take this on into day six to seven. Like it just actually got better with time because I love, I love the volume love the volume so just a quick day four check-in to show you yeah, guys so that's basically it super simple quick and easy deep refresh for your hair i am so happy the way my hair started out at the beginning of this video was not giving this it's very much giving everything it needs to give okay i want to go ahead and suggest that you just tap that subscribe button before you leave that way you'll never have to worry about missing a new video ever again i'm gonna just i'm gonna just say we've got some fun things planned for the holiday season. I'm working really hard on it, <laughs> getting it all like fun and exciting and interesting. So yeah guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.